Hello, thank you for watching our talk. Today we are going to talk about our ongoing project, Mimi, a self-extensible programming language for sound and music. The presenters are Tomoya Matsura, it's me, and my advisor Kazuhiro Joe at Kyushu University. Programming languages for music are designed and developed since the early days of electronic computers. This background picture is taken from a survey by Dannenberg in 2018, and I added as a notable project on it. It contains music stories by Max Matthews, the earliest systems to use the electronic computer for generating music. Many languages born in the 80s and 90s such as C-Sound, Max, Purider, and SuperCrider are still developed and used today. After 2000, some modern languages that we consider as a basis of the sound languages were born, including Chak which enables sample accurate event process, and Extempore, a full-stack live programming environment, Faust, a strong functional language for signal processing, and many languages which attempt a higher level abstraction by using SuperCrider as a sound synthesis engine, such as Tidal Cycles and Sonic Pi. Languages for sound have common roots with mu computer music application, for example, today's digital audio workstation, as they were created before the concept of GUI was born. And the la sound languages have grown while importing their ideas and theories developed over the history of general purpose programming languages. Today, conventional sound languages still have traditions grown in early days. For example, they usually contain multiple internal languages, typical for discrete co event control, and signal processing by composing a unit generator, such as filter and oscillator, and the descri description of unit generator itself. A notable example is CSound, which has three internal languages, score, orchestra, and instrument. And similarly, Cycling74 Max has Max, and MSP, and recently Gentubler. Using multiple languages, maintain a balance between coding efficiency and generality of possible expressions. Originally, it allows the user to choose the level of complexity according to the task. However, multi-language approach actually contains some problems. Firstly, users have to learn each language specification for each domain. And also sometimes, the user must use slightly different operators for similar expressions which may reduce the efficiency of the coding process, especially for beginners. For instance, while describing the addition of two inputs in Max and Purator, the user must choose the right one from two different objects, according to its data type between plus for control and plus tilde for audio. So if we can unify the separated language without losing the advantage of multiple languages, we can avoid this confusion. Assuming in these backgrounds, we designed and developed Mimium, a full-stack pr music programming language, which can describe everything from low-level signal processing to discrete event processing in unified semantics. Characteristic point of the design is that minimum features for sound are added to the design of general purpose language. One is the semantics for different execution of the function for temporal discrete control, another is the stateful function for signal processing. Intermediate representation during compilation is also similar to it of general purpose languages, not like other sound languages, which have similar specification for, to Mimium, such as Faust, and Extempore, and Kronos. The table in the slide shows a comparison of the language specification of Mimium and existing languages. Mimium covers all the event scheduling, scheduling with sample accuracy, and fundamental definition of unit generator with just-in-time compilation using LLVM and functional representation of internal state for UGM. In this table, we cannot see the difference between Kronos and Mimium. The difference between these two languages is an intermediate representation. Kronos uses a graph structure IR, and Mimium uses imperative IR, which resembles to either general purpose languages. Here we show the simplest example of the use of Mimium language. First of all, by defining a function with the name DSP, the user can send and receive audio data between audio driver. At that time, data type of an argument and return value of DSP function is important. Both of the data type must be the tuple type that consists of any number of float type. In the example, the DSP function takes two audio channels and mix them, and assign mixed signaling to both of the two channel outputs. 
In the first example, data types are explicitly annotated, but they can be omitted when inferred from a context because the compiler has a hindered Milner type inference, like second example. Next, we will explain the two characteristic language features of Mimi. The first one is the semantics for task scheduling. We use a design pattern called temporal recursion, introduced by Sorensen, uh, the developer of Xtemporal, to describe temporal discrete control. Temporal recursion is a design pattern that using, uses recursive function which calls itself with a certain delay time. To enable it, Mimim uses special operator atomic. The atomic operator can be used flowing to a function call. Function with atmark is not executed immediately, but it is put into the task queue of the scheduler, along with argument and time specified following to the atmark operator. The unit time used for atmark operator is an absolute time in samples. To express relative time, another keyword now can be used in Mimim, which acquires the absolute time since audio driver launched. Mimim's scheduling strategy is based on the logical time, the same as check, which means that operation is deterministic and sample accurate as long as the code does not contain IE operation, such as MIDI and network exchange like OSC. In contrast, Xtempo uses an asynchronous task scheduling, which takes an accuracy including IO exchange into account as possible. However, this approach increases the complexity of implementation. At this time, we prioritize the simplicity of the implementation. And another core feature is the idea that uses usual function as if it's like a unit generator. The signal processors like a filter and oscillator can be thought as a combination of a processing function and internal state variables. Such data structure is usually expressed as an object or a closure. Object and closure require instantiation to initialize state variables before use. However, by assuming the initial value of the internal state as zero, or the composition of zeros, signal processor can be expressed as if it's usual function. For example, Faust realized the expression of signal processor without handling internal state variables by using several primitive stateful functions such as delay and table lookup and recursive composition operator tilde. And Bart language by Louise also enabled unit generator expression as a function, which does not require instantiation by introducing memory variable, which keeps state value over samples. And Mimim takes similar approach to Faust, which uses primitive stateful function and recursive connection. However, the expression of the recursive connection is a bit different. In Mimim, user can use the special keyword self only in the function definition context. Self is a read-only variable, which refers to a return value of the function in a previous sample. In Mimim, the use of a recursive connection is closed within the unit of the function, unlike Faust can use multiple tilde operator in one expression. During compilation, stateful functions are transformed into a combination of pure function and state variable as argument after closure transformation before low-level code generation. The transformation is done by searching all the function call in the definition of function recursively from the entry point of a DSP function. For example, in the code of the slide, DSP calls fbdelay function twice, and fbdelay function uses self and one delay function. If the function definition refers to a self or the call of built-in stateful function such as delay, then the function becomes a stateful one. And the function that calls a stateful function is also determined as stateful. After the analyzation of the dependency trees, the compiler makes implicit state variables explicit as a first argument of the function definition and also function code. The code in the slides is the pseudocode of the conversion. To summarize, Mimim can describe temporal discrete control and signal processing in unified semantics. Compared to existing environments, Mimim brings some advantages by taking an architecture that adds the minimum features for sound on the general purpose language. It keeps the implementation simple and allows the user to focus on musical tasks without losing the self-extensibility of the programming language. By taking these advantage, we are considering to use Mimim to make it as a medium and an infrastructure to dis distributing music as a code or a software, not just only useful tools for musicians. 
However, the language development is still in progress. Especially we think we have three issues to improve. First, as same as files, signal processing is based on sample by sample basis. Thus, the language cannot handle the vector by vector operation, such as FFT. The second problem is, task scheduling using Armac operator is essentially based on the procedure paradigm. Because the deferred execution does not return a value immediately, thus naturally the function will be a void type with some side effect. This does not match with the design pattern of functional style seen in the signal processing that passes the return value of some function to other function as an argument. We can combine these two or match the paradigm by using a closure on higher order function as in this slide. However, we cannot realize this in the current version of Mimium because the local variable cannot live longer than its original scope. To solve this, we need to introduce some kind of static analysis to determine a lifetime of local variables such as escape analysis. And the final problem is, current version of Mimium cannot express the parametric replication of stateful functions. For example, in the slide, the function filter bank is a high order function which takes some state of function filter as an argument. And the instance of the state variable filter should be determined by the first argument n. However, n is unknown when it is compiled. To solve this, constant folding should be performed before the state of function analysis step. And further problem here is that we cannot detect if the argument is compiled constant or not compiled time constant in the current type system. This type of computation can be seen as a kind of multi-stage computation, like MetaML. In languages for multi-stage computation, the stages of the computation are considered at the type system level. So maybe this type system can be utilized in Mimim language for future. Also, multi-stage computation can be thought as a kind of hygienic macro, which can be useful for creating an original DSL as a library without breaking the type safety. To summarize, we have explained the background multi-language paradigm in sound programming languages, and we introduced Mimim, a self-extensive language which has minimum future for sound added to general purpose language, a time discrete control logical time-based scheduler with Atmark operator can be used, for signal processing, stateful function with self can be used. The language has still many problems such as combination of the use of scheduled execution and functional paradigm, and need of multi-stage computation paradigm was suggested to enable the parameter to replication of state of function. Also, as an academic research, more formal definition of the language and benchmarking should be done. And also, to use it as a practical tool, we need to prepare a library and module system and package manager for it. And Mimim is published under uh, module public license version 2. So we, <coughs> it's uh, any type of contribution welcome, for example, documentation and building community, uh, just feedback and comment. And that's it. We appreciate uh, all the contribution involved into the development of Mimi. Please feel free to contact us if you have any additional questions and comments for the video and the paper. Thank you for watching our presentation of Mimi, a self-extensible programming language for sound and music by Tomoya Matsura. It's me and Kazuhiro Joe. Thank you.